Now you just when we leave here, we gotta go home and check on the food. Yes, putting in the work. Yes, right. Putting in the time. Being focused and staying back. Awesome. So I'm gonna tell the audience. I'm gonna tell the audience your name. I'm Katora Shelton. She got to give me a minute, y'all. <laughs> I get myself together here. Your name, name of business, the city state you're from, and your Instagram handle. Okay. Hi, I am Katora Shelter. I am owner of Foswell, along with Avita J. She is not here to, uh, today because she's sick. Uh, we're both owners of Foswell Park in Memphis, Tennessee. And. It's okay. You know, it's your Instagram. Oh, my Instagram is Pause Wellness Spa underscore and also My Calling Therapy Services. That's also my personal page. We are a full edge spa. We do post op care, we do body contouring, facials, therapy to massage. You name it, that's what we do. If you know anyone in Memphis that needs any type of post op care or want a great facial, we do meal preps as well. You can send them our way. Yes, ma'am. First time on the business, honey. First time on the business. That's all right, though. Yes, ma'am. I enjoy it. I love it. It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. It's good to meet a lot of people. A lot of people. A lot of people. Um, and there's so many avenues that side therapists can take to elevate and uplift. And we're not restricted. There's no restriction. With us. We have some laws to follow that's governed by Congress and the state rules. But outside of that, as long as we stay in the state of practice, we're good. Okay. And we get paid what we're worth. And it's not dictated. Okay. Read the dictation. Mm -hmm. okay. So, what made you decide to come up with that? Tell them so they know. Do you, I don't think y'all are ready for my story. You got to tell the story so they know. And the reason why I want you to tell the story so because you have people that could be watching us mm -hmm. and they'd be like, I'm not even in the category. Yes, I'm a, I, and, I, and let them know, like everybody, all of us, everybody here has their own business. To include the millionaires that's in the house, but we all came from some type of story, some type of background, some type of struggle, something in our life that got us to this point. Honey, let me tell you all my story. I am 37 years old. I grew up in a country, very country. I lost, I lost both of my parents. So at the young age, coming up, we had a acre garden. My daddy was a hunting man. I always wanted to be a chef. That's what that was my passion. That was my dream. At the age of nine, I didn't know anything about massage. Nothing. That was back in the early nineties. But once to be a chef. So that's fast forward. Eighteen. Oh, Miss Shelton, you're diagnosed with glaucoma. You got to choose another route, profession. 
Uh, so I was like, oh, wow, really? And I had all these colleges all over America emailing me, emailing me to come to their school for culinary. So, and then before my mother passed, she was like, well, honey, you gonna have to find something else. And I will be honest with you. I tell a lot of my clients my story. I did not want to do massage. I'm so serious. Because I didn't want people touching me and I didn't want to touch people. I wanted to do radiology because I was like, what other profession I was going to do? And I was working in the healthcare field already. And I left the healthcare field back in 2015 when I obtained my fascist degree in health administration management. So getting all that together, I realized I was like, oh my God, I love massage therapy. Hearing from clients saying, oh my gosh, you're like one of the best therapists I encountered with. And hearing from someone that had been getting massage for 20 years, so I grew to love massage therapy. I grew to love it. That's why I call my personal business my calling therapy service because I felt I was called to do it. So that is my story as a massage therapist. I absolutely love it. It's my passion. I love educating. I worked in the ER for eight years. The education I received in the ER, I do exercise to my clients. It's just a lot of things that I know. I tell people I don't know every single thing, but I know a lot of things. And you ask me a question, I may have the answer. So that's my story. Thank you for sharing the story. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Because, you know, it's, it's somebody... I believe in hope. Mm -hmm. Help one person every day. Mm -hmm. Not not that that's my acronym. Someone in the TV industry shared that with me. And I was like, that's powerful. So I took it. Mm -hmm. Because that's what I do. And even if, you know, as massage therapists, we help people get together. Massage therapy for me is a healing modality because we help people in so many ways, not just physically, but we also help them emotionally. We don't know what kind of condition our clients or patients is coming in with, but we don't want them leaving the same way once they came in with us. We have to make sure that they leave them totally different from when they first came in for each and every session. And, and that's what we do. Mm -hmm. I totally enjoy it. I mean, when I say I enjoy massage therapy, I never thought I would be where I'm at today. Okay. So seriously. Like, I owned a business. I started owning a business back in 2018. Now I own two businesses. Business uh, this year. I left my corporate job this March. Okay. To elevate it. I elevate to do my business full time and nothing but excel. I've been hearing from other therapists in Memphis. I'm not saying other cities or other states, but in Memphis, the tour is going to be slow this this time around. I never was slow. No, I because you probably go outside the box. I did, Miss Carol. I did. I found my niche. Mm -hmm. When I say I found my niche, I found my niche. I'm, when I say I'm passionate about my work, I'm passionate about my work and it shows. And I, I have a feeling that's what draw people to us. So I love my team. I love everything about my job. I mean, it's just a blessing. And just to hear from your clients and for them to. My clients always well, rebook me. Even though I do post op, I still have clients that came to me a year and a half ago, and they still get a little fatty drink because they know I'm sorry. It's okay. That's it. So, because you know, the fatty drink is not just only for after surgery, it's a detoxification. So, I have bodybuilders that come to you. So it's just that it's a blessing, and I absolutely love it. I mean, stepping away from the corporate world and to making the big that I want to make a blessing. Just, I just have to expedite, and that's what I'm doing. I'm continuing in there. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna say this to the audience because you said something that if anybody in the audience that is listening to this, she's and I hope y'all caught it because I can. She just gave y'all gems of what she did in slow times in the massage therapy industry. She thought outside the box. And when you think outside the box, you have no slow times in your industry. You have to be creative to make up for the slow times. And she just told you what she did. So all the massage therapists out there that say, you know what? 
the slow season. It was slow for me. I didn't make this amount of money. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. Think outside the box. Start thinking outside the box of what you already do and get creative with it. And if you don't know how, then all the time that y'all see me go live on Facebook three times a day, you should be paying attention to what I be saying. And you wouldn't have no slow time. Mm -hmm. I just met Katora today. <laughs> in person, live, and in color. <laughs> I love you, Thank you. I've been following you for years. Really? Yes. You've been following me? One of my clients took your class. Really? I'm glad they were satisfied. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. I told her to go to Did she implement what she learned? I have not contacted her. She's a nurse. Okay. But she has not, uh, she's been bees, I know, trapped. Let her know, whoever she is, because we lie, whoever she is, let her know that she has 90 days of coaching with me because she took a class. I told her that. Hopefully she remembers because she I don't want her getting stuck because when she took that class with me, she had 90 days from the date that she finished to do coaching with me so I can help her excel and work her business. I, I remind her. Yeah, let her know that. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, let yes, her know. Definitely let her know. Yes, but thank you. Yes, I look forward to seeing you tonight. Yes, ma'am. It's going to be fun. And this is not going to be the only time we have that for It's not. And it's going to be more than twice a year. Yes, ma'am. Because this is twice a year. Yes, it's five expos, five words. And this is the time when we all come together. Like we only see each other twice a year. I've been seeing you for years. I know because you're busy. I've been trying to help people. I know. Because that's what it's all about. Especially when COVID hit. Like nobody was prepared for what was about to go down. And it, it, it was a, a, a lesson breaker. It was an eye opener. And I, I can honestly believe that this season, COVID season, has created more entrepreneurs than ever. It certainly has. It certainly has. I know back at home in Memphis, they have announced on Fox News with 13 in Memphis that Memphis was one of the cities that a lot of Black people turn their hobbies into a business. When I say it's more business, Black business now in Memphis than they ever was before, mm -hmm. all because they turned it to all because of COVID. Yeah. I'm being honest with you, all because of COVID, and they saw the distraction, the things they were losing, and they was like, okay, I have a talent, I have a talent, and they asked about it. I am so serious, you are. They asked about it, and they're doing tremendous work with me, mm -hmm. and I'm seeing it with my own eyes. I, 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 I have, they're on my table. They're on my table. I network with them. I go out to outings and I, I hear it all the time. They always announce it on our social um, channels in Memphis. So I'm telling y'all, it's COVID really has taught a lot of people a lesson. Yeah, a valuable lesson. And for me, I was like, you know what? Because COVID has taught us a valuable lesson, nobody should ever be without a business. But you're always going to have two types of people. You're going to have those that create and those that sit back and watch. You're going to have those that are creators and those that are sit back and watch are going to become the customer of the creators. Those are two types. Okay. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, you are for my mother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you're going to see, did you get one of these? All right. You're going to get a link to where your interview is going to be so you can share with your family and friends. And we're also going to be on JBL TV Network. It's going to stay up there for 72 hours after I get home and upload it. But I'm going to put it into the group. So I'm going to let everybody know where the links are. And um, 
if you go into the group when you get time, because it's busy this weekend, but when you get time, go into our VIP group because I did a class on how to get to here and what you need to do. Okay. All right. So you'll be on the Sador Radio Station YouTube channel, as well as the Sador Radio Station podcast, as well as the Best Off of Parent podcast, as well as JBL TV. So you're getting some experience. Thank you. Well, thank you. Well, Kyle, well, I appreciate you. Yes. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you. And I was glad to all dressed up and pretty. Yes, <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Anybody next? Y'all good? <laughs> All right, everybody. Let me go fast.